I really am Jason, just a better looking version of him. Anyway, you're about to learn three wickedly cool AI tools that can speed up your change management efforts. Let's do it! Younger maybe better looking? Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's get to it. Here's some cool things you can do with AI. All right, let's skip the preamble and get right into it. So everything I'm talking about, you can find links in the description below where you can try out these tools. There are thousands of them out there. Some of them are free, some of them are freemium, but at least you'll get a whole bunch of things that can help you speed up some of your change management activities. So there is a bit of a caveat with this. There's this misinterpretation that AI is going to replace everything. Uh, and it can do everything automatically. So it's only going to do everything automatically if you know how to feed it the right information. So here's the tool that I used for that little introductory video. So here's the video that it generated. So if you're trying to do like little short talking head videos, um, maybe you've got like an internal Instagram or Facebook style site where you want to post videos to, and these are just short bursts of information. So think of YouTube shorts. I mean, maybe you're camera shy, maybe you don't want to do these things things, maybe you don't want to use your own voice, you can create these really quickly with this little tool here. So you go to create video, you're going to get a whole bunch of different presenters here that you can use. And you can also get some AI generated ones because if you noticed in that intro clip, it was a little bit freaky. I don't know if you remember Batman versus Superman or whichever other movie Henry Cavazizel Ziesel was in. Uh, they actually CGI'd his mouth into the movie because he didn't want to shave his mustache for some reason. That intro video kind of looked like that. So you can use an AI one or you can use a real presenter. Pick anybody you want. You can upload your voice audio or you can type in a script here. So you could say, hey all, join us for the next uh, training session for the new tool next. Monday. Um, you get options for languages, so you can have it in different languages. You can choose a different person, male or female, and you can also choose style. So do you want it to sound like a newscast, customer service, and this will all depend on the voice that you pick. So each of these will have different kinds of voices. So if I switch to this guy person, I can say, ooh, here, let's make guy angry. Now the one thing is, with this particular tool you get credits, so you can see that I have 19 credits left, and every time you generate the video it's going to take one of your credits away. So let's just see how angry this person is. Generate video. So it's going to tell you right here. This is going to cost me one credit to generate this, so let's just see how this goes. Hey all, join us for the next training session for the new tool next Monday. All right, she didn't really seem that angry, but anyway, you get the point. So if you wanted to do talking head videos, some things that are just kind of quick, this tool is perfect for it. And if you want to get into the pricing for this tool, like I said, you get 19 credits. This is a common thing with a lot of the AI tools is they give you credits to purchase. So anything that's creative where you can create images and other stuff like that, um, you buy credits and then you can earn credits by referring people. So here's where uh, you can get all the prices and information for this one. So let's, there's a bunch of these as well. This is just the one I used for this video. So. All right, next up, suppose you have to create some type of presentation and you wanted to do it kind of storytelling format. So this Tomi is a tool that will automatically save you some time by generating you the shell of a presentation. So you just tell it what kind of presentation you want and it will fill it in with some basic starter information. So let's do this now. So let's just assume we wanna do some change management strategy. So let's create something here and I want to create a presentation about actually let's make this a little more generic a change management strategy and let's see what it comes up with
All right, so it's created. It creates a title page for you. It creates a uh, table of contents and then one particular slide for each one. So it just created the generic stuff you would expect from a change management strategy. So an introduction for what it is, what the benefits of it are, how to develop it, how to implement it, managing resistance to change and conclusion. So this is about as generic as it can get. And suppose you don't like some of these images. Hmm, change management strategy. This image is actually kind of creepy. So uh, in this box here on the left, you can obviously modify any of this text that you want. You can also use AI edit right here on the spot. So if I wanted to change this to be kind of uh, eh, more persuasive, let's see what it does. There, so it went from the previous one to uh, change management is the key to a successful transition to a better future. Okay, that sounds kind of corny. And you know, maybe we're not in such a stuffy organization. So why don't we just adjust the tone and make it more exciting? What would that do? Foster a better future by taking the initiative to manage change. Planning and implementing changes with minimal disruption and resistance is essential, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, the cool thing with this tool is you can highlight any of the text and you can make it uh, shorter or more concise. You can expand it out a little bit. You can adjust the tone or just completely rewrite it. And then obviously you can wordsmith it yourself. So you could type in your own phrase here and then use AI to refine yours. Now suppose you didn't want creepy man over here on the image and you wanted something that was, um, let's just say we want a nice calming mountainy landscapey kind of cool little uh, image on here for whatever reason. So let's just say a picture of a clear meadow that is colorful. So forget the mountains. We just want like an open meadow, something that's kind of calming looking. Let's see if it can create one of those. So this is using a service called DALI, which is an image generator. And like I said, a lot of these AI tools will do things based on credits. So, uh, and it's not going to grab any copywritten type of images. So it's not going to get good clip art from some of those sites. And then you can pick one of these images and you can replace it with that. Eh, I don't like that one. Maybe I want this one with the dandelions or hmm, maybe I want a, give me a pile of documents that look nice and clean. Let's see what it can do here. I mean, you're getting the point of this. You can type in, the AI is only as good as what you feed it. So it's not like it's gonna replace everything. You still have to know, but it can save you a ton of time. So you could say, okay, cool. I actually wanna use this image instead. So now with the rest of these, you can do the exact same thing. You can change uh, the benefits and the text to match the tone and get, I don't know where it came up with these creepy images, but holy cow, those are creepy. The other thing you can do is you can combine AI tools. So ChatGPT is probably the most popular, but there are literally hundreds of these things out here. So let's go here and let's talk about, uh, what was I working on? I was working on, um, introduction to change management strategy. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to paste that in here and I'm going to get rid of this. And same thing if I wanted the benefits here. Cool. All right. Let's copy and paste these in here. So you get the point. You can do a whole bunch of cool stuff with this. And then uh, one of the other options, you can add another page and you can feed it some text. So if it was missing something that was created, you can add that automatically. And then you can change the colors. So you can change your theme. And uh, let's go with a dune theme. So now you've got uh, the ability to change your fonts. You've got the ability to change your themes and your background colors and your text colors. And you can auto color it and you can do a whole bunch of really cool things. You can actually play the slideshow right from the browser here, and then you can share it or download it, add your logo and do stuff like that. So this can save you a ton of time when you just need to quote unquote, make the deck for just about anything. Cause we know that stuff takes a lot of time and we know no one's reading it. So let, AI gen let the uh, AI generate it. 
All right, next is a tool called Nodi.ai, and this will allow you to capture transcripts from your Google Meet or Zoom meeting. So I'm gonna have this one set up just to record a Google meeting. So let's just say I'm doing a meetup where I'm talking about a new event management system. I'm gonna go through two of the main features and then do a QA. So let's start a new conversation. So this is gonna capture the actual conversation. So it automatically opens up a Google Meet. If you're using Zoom, it's gonna do Zoom automatically. So I might go, okay, I'm Jason, and I'm here to talk about the new event management system. So in June 1st, we're gonna be replacing our event management system with a new one. Here's the top five features. So feature number one is the ability to add your events. Blah, 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 I'll talk about that. Feature number two, we're going to talk about how you can add attendees to your event and add tickets to it, and you can do X, Y, and Z with that feature. Then I would go through all the rest of the features and say, okay, any questions? Biff will speak up and say, uh, yes, I would like to figure out how I can add a payment link to my event. Does your system do that? Yes, it does that by going to this tab and then clicking on this. So this will capture everything about the conversation. It's gonna record who actually was saying what, and because I'm talking to myself, it's obviously only gonna capture me. So let me stop this meeting. Let me return to the home screen, and I'm gonna flip back to notify here. I'm gonna go into my workspace, reload the page. So here's the untitled one, the participants, obviously it was just me, so I can now click on this and it's gonna generate the transcript for me. So here's the transcript and this has uh, video timestamps in all of it. So this just happens automatically. And then eh, let's just say if I wanted to highlight this, I can pin this to the page as well. And then what I can do is I can create a summary of this event if I want. So I could create a summary. This probably won't create uh, very much because I didn't do a very, very long meeting. So here's the summary that this is creating. If I wanted to create a summary export of this, I can click on that, add this to my Google Drive. So while I wait for that summary, I'm gonna create an export here. summary has been created and here you go here's your Google Doc that you can download with a summary now this summary is a little bit weird because it was really only me talking but you can see that it's gonna have the name of whoever was there in the meeting and now you've got a transcript and a summary all right so there's three cool things you can use to hopefully speed up your change management efforts and the robots are coming so that is definitely going to eliminate the need for change communications specialists remember to like and subscribe and you get notified when other cool stuff comes out. What do you mean the robots are going to eliminate the need for change communication specialists? Should we all be looking for new jobs? I promise I'll do a better job from now on. Good. Now that we have instilled fear in you by creating urgency for this shift to an AI-driven future, I know you will toe the line. Now get back to working on those documents.